When you power up the panel, your actuator is going to calibrate. Important to note, make sure you have 12 volts going to your panel or it's not going to power on. Our first screen we're going to see is going to have all of your power outputs. So you'll be able to monitor your voltage, your current, what power you're making, your power factor. You can see what your battery voltage is. You can see your engine speed and the frequency. Typically when you call in, our service techs are going to want to know what is your no load voltage and frequency. So make sure to get those values. The next page, by clicking S3 for the next screen, you'll be able to see all your temperature sensors. Cylinder head, exhaust manifold, your coil temperature, that one starts displaying once it's above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, your coolant in, and your oil pressure. We'll go to the next screen again. From here, you'll be able to see a bar graph of what your power output is, and it'll be correlated to what your maximum is. So if you're at max, your bar graph's gonna be full. Under no load, your bar graph's gonna be empty. Here you can find your generator serial number, how much power your generator's produced, and how many starts that it's, that it's had, as well as the hours. So we can go back to the main screen. So from here, if you press S2 and S3 at the same time and release them, you'll get into a bunch of other options. For you, the important ones you'll need to know is view system ID. To get to this, we're gonna press S3, press it again, press S4 to select, Inside this screen, you'll be able to see all of your serial numbers and your firmware versions for your electronics. This screen will automatically time out after 10 seconds. We're going to go back to our View More Data screen and look at your alarm history. To view your alarm history, we're going to go to the next page. So we'll press S3, go to next page, S4 to select. Read regular log data. So S3, select with S4. From here, we want to read previous alarm rec record. We're going to press S4 to select. So this will be the most current alarm that you have. Your first screen will display what time the alarm occurred, the date, S3 to select and see it. So. The last alarm for this was a high cylinder head temperature. You can see all the parameters for when it shut down, the engine speed, the frequency, your battery voltage. This one was under no load. You can see your voltage, uh, your output voltage. And if you press S3, you can see what your temperatures are, just like your main screen. So once you've cycled through, if you want to read your next alarm, select it with S4. And again, same, same idea. It'll have the date and the time. Select it. Unexpected engine stop was the cause of this shutdown. So to exit the screen, we're going to press S3. Return to normal. Select with S4. Now you're back at your start screen. Reading your alarm history, we're going to select on the alarm. S4, S3 to view it. So it's important to note, you'll see different messages on the bottom. The message that has the black background is the reason that the uh, generator shut off. The other messages are auxiliary messages of things that was also occurring at the same time. The cause of the shutdown has the black background. For more information and further assistance, contact your local Fisher Panda dealer or our service department.